Yes, a wonderful night or day whenever you're watching this year. We are live here in Las Vegas. Uh, we're having here a wonderful time. I was here looking and invited and today I have a really special guest. So I have now reached the end here of what is possible. I'm here with the CEO, founder from the company Forever Green and has a new division called FG Express and miracle things are happened and he has taken his spare time to give you especially a little overview and I want to share a little bit about this fantastic man something with you so thank you first for your time Rob. thank you my pleasure thank you so just I, I, I feel now you would don't like to tell your bio so if you want to see his bio you can find it on the <laughs> internet but just for the Europeans who don't you know that right. you should invite you so right thank you yes <laughs> So you are here the CEO, so what means? You have all the work or you are able uh, to put it away? <laughs> no, I, I'm a hands-on type of CEO. I, I uh, like to be, sometimes CEOs get pushed up to a lonely place and they become delusional. So I'm all about, I think delusion is the devil in business, so I'm really grassroots, hands-on type of CEO. Yeah, and then you have a really, um, how to say, um, special stuff. I have yesterday make interview with, with Brenda and it, after all I was thinking, oh, that is really special. So you have, uh, uh, for Germans too, you have a president who is a woman, then who is an Asian, yes. uh, who is really going forward. Powerful. You, 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 you have people who are yeah. special. So you, yeah, and our chief marketing officer is Latin and uh, we just, you know, we're very cultural. You know, sometimes you know, we had to shift our world views that we're not this little company making decisions in Utah while people sleep. So we have to be very aware and very conscious that it's their livelihoods, it's our livelihoods that we're in this together. So we're trying to make sure that our world views allow for every culture to be a part of this, you know. And all of us will compromise a little bit so that we can all be together. So you uh, have a special, for, for a Utah company, you are a really special company because normally it looks all like uh, <laughs> bake it in the same bakery. I don't know another Utah company that even looks remotely like us. You know, we're, we're very humanistic, we're very uh, indiscriminate, um, and we're, we try to be very aware and very selfless. We believe that service supersedes salesmanship. And uh, this has to be available to every human being, not just the magicians. And so we try to make this a very grassroots, very simple, easy, but powerful opportunity together. And, and when sometimes you sing for it for making a good atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was raised in a family that sings, and sometimes I would apologize for that, but then I realized that, look, if you can sing from your heart one chorus, that one chorus might touch people more than a full day of words. So I just try to, don't try to be polished or something, just sing. Oh, yesterday I, I see it here because I have watched uh, the, the, the full show yeah. every time yes. so, uh, because uh, to look at what's really happening and going yeah. on. And, and you are more than a creative guy, I found yeah. out, because you're going singing, you are have making a movie, yes. uh, you are. Uh, you, how you bring this in into your company? Uh? Yeah. Well, I learned a recipe that, you know, if you're willing to stretch and develop yourselves, that your professional skills will never grow past your personal development. So I'm very big on developing ourselves, each one of us, and magnifying the greatness that's in every one of us, and then saying, well, if you want to write a book, why not? If you want to do a movie, why not? You know, and so to make sure that you can do it, you know, and not do it delusionally, but just do things. And so all of this contributes to the high-level marketing of our company where it's just cause-oriented, purpose-oriented, not dollar-oriented. And when you do it for the right reasons, it seems the dollars, the euro, it follows. Yeah. You, I was before when I shot it in another company and you was for, you speak Mexican or Spanish in yes. this way, right? because I uh, follow up this. Huh? See. So, so uh, how you see it uh, here, the future, especially for American companies and uh, Mexican, uh, I think here's something uh, yeah. groundbreaking. You know, there's a universal language that all of us human beings, we belong together. It's not about the color of our skin. It's not about the language we speak. It's not about our political views or our religious convictions. Is it about race? Yes, but in this case, 
It's about the human race, you know, uh, the brother and su the sisterhood that supersedes all. And that's our vision. And so in this room, you saw so many people from so many countries coexist in a very powerful way. And it's just the beginning. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing was, before we were sitting people from Kazakhstan, from Ukraine, yeah. and I was thinking about, okay, in Europe, they are fighting also at the moment with the, with the mouse and they're sitting all together in America thinking it's a little bit uh, networking style where you see bringing the world together so I think when everybody doing networking possible in your company so there's more peace on the way else, no? yeah the, the only the only audience that is ever going to rival what we just did and will continue to do is the Olympics that's it this is everyone coming to one place to celebrate so it's fun Oh, so you have here the Water Forever Green Olympics today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Olympics and everybody won, so it was uh, nice, yeah. So, your daily work as CEO, what, what, what is the CEO doing? So, I don't know what Brenda is doing, she's holding yeah. everything together as the mama of everything? It, it, it's very situational. If a company needs logistical strength and muscle, then I think a CEO should be there with the logistics team, IT, computers, uh, shipping, registering product, all of the things that we're doing right now, it takes some time. So I'm spending a lot of time working and supporting logistics and when that's done, it's the front of the boat. It's what do we do in marketing? What is our messaging? What is our community service? You know, etc. So I kind of stay, I kind of go back and forth to the back of the boat, to the front of the boat, but it's very situational, but I'm very hands-on. Uh, what is your plans for the future? Okay, I have fear it, but Many people will show the video I have not here. So where is the, 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 the cruise ship or is yeah. it the battleship? Yeah. Where, where it's going now? It's a, you know, I always say lead with your heart, grow some teeth and know when to bite. You know, you know, we don't try to be vicious or war people. We respect our competitors, we respect this industry, we respect each other. But the future of this company is going to, a, to an uncharted territory where no one's ever been, we're literally we get to go around and indiscriminately include everyone, not some, but everyone, so that everyone who wants to illuminate their personal development, illuminate their financial development, they can do it in this platform. Uh -oh. that, that sounds good. Yeah. You, are, you are somebody who have a nutrition company, no? and uh, you have to say like me a little bit. A little, 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 little bit. Thank like, you for like pointing that out. <laughs> can we move this up just a little bit? No. <laughs> So, so I have uh, for myself point out something important today for me. So the, the key essence is you are not a fanatic. No, no. I think I think when people get fanatical about health or about anything, fanatics always have a stress and they have a fear of breaking the law. I think that there, that health is also being practical. There's a, there's an element of health that comes from being practical. So I think it's about being responsible versus fanatical. Fanatics are no fun. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that is what our world brings down, the fanatics. Yeah. I always say fanatics, you know, they die every day of stress. That's why they have bad breath, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's my joke. Uh, so I see the people are waiting for you now. We have a tradition, the last minute is for you, so you can share the world, one minute, whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, I have not seen your, your mom and dad are running around, yeah. so they, they see you every day, but when you have somebody on the world, or whatever you want sent to the world, it's not for you. Yeah, this is a platform where we are taking an industry that is typically do me to an indiscriminate global community of givers and service where we make the world a better place. Las Vegas is a better city today because we were here. We, did, we reached out to the community on the community level and did all kinds of fun things. So our whole message is it's not what's your product, what's your comp plan, what's your product, what's your comp plan. That is designed to fail. It pits people against each other. Ours is truly about the best product are the people. And when we develop ourselves, we can step finally in front of the product, edify the industry, dignify ourselves and each other in a way that the only sustainable piece of network marketing, and this is weird that we have to figure this out now, are the people. That's the only sustainable piece. So if that's the case, let's be the best people that we can be and we can finally give some purpose and some dignity to this industry. So, awesome. Thank you for those great words. Uh, thank you. And it was really nice to meet you here. It's thank a you pleasure to work with you and thank you for all the work you do back in Europe. You're a very talented man. Thank oh, you. Thank you very much. Thank thank you. It's a pleasure. Awesome. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.